Now to ongoing frustration over dangerous and sometimes deadly crashes on Highway 63 between Thayer and West Plains. Charmel O'Dell shows us the problems and possible solutions. This is U.S. Highway 63, located near West Plains and Thayer. For people living near this area, this road beholds more than just two lanes. For them, it also leaves behind a large amount of grief. We heard it, and it was a loud bang. Carolyn Parker is the grandmother of Joshua Parker. Last October, Joshua was making a left turn into work. That's when Parker was struck from behind by another vehicle. The car had hit the back of uh, Josh's uh, van, and it made the van explode. And it um, then it knocked him, the van over into head on into the semi that was coming south. Joshua died at the scene. His grandmother blames U.S. 63's two lanes. So last year we had 109 injury crashes in this troop or in this zone. Uh, of those 109, 17% of them occurred on U.S. 63. Highway patrol troopers say it's not just the highway, but speeding, following too close, bad passes, driving under the influence, and inattentive driving. They hope heavy patrols of the area will reduce the number of crashes. Due to the increased fatals and just overall injury crashes we've had in the area, we've started a, uh, a public information campaign where uh, down in Thayer and when you're leaving West Plains, uh, we put up, uh, we partnered with MoDOT and put up billboards that says that you're entering a high crash area and that we're going to strictly enforce the speed limit. Parker says although she's not able to physically see her grandson, she holds tight to a little piece of him. And his third little boy was born December 19th. He didn't even get to see him. And the night before he got killed, he named his little boy. And there, I'm Charmelle Dell.